Team 6 shows up with nasty surprise he's had coming. According to breaking intelligence reports, SEAL Team 6, who took out Osama bin Laden back in 2011, are now in the active stages of their plot to neutralize little Kim, and they have the scopes of their sniper weapons now pointing at the forehead of Kim Jong-un if he makes one more sudden move towards war. According to breaking reports, the U.S. Navy's SEAL Team 6 is now conducting battle drills with South Korean Assassination Squad, who's planning to neutralize Kim Jong-un as soon as December should things continue to deteriorate in the region. American Military News reported, the U.S. Navy's SEAL Team 6 is reportedly drilling with a South Korean Assassination Squad that would take out North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un in the event of war. North Korea recently tested its most powerful nuclear missile yet, and the nation led by dictator Kim Jong-un now says it has more gift packages for the United States. The test came hours after North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un claimed that it now had an H-bomb to put onto its long-range ICBMs. U.S. Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley said Monday that North Korea is begging for war and that it's time for the international community to impose the strongest possible sanctions against North Korea. President Trump has been extremely proactive with his response to North Korea in recent months, and is taking Kim Jong-un's threats to launch a nuclear strike against the untied states very seriously. Back in April, SEAL Team 6 conducted training in the faux legal exercise, where other special ops teams including Army Rangers, Delta Forces, and Green Berets trained to take out the fat kid in North Korea should he push his antics to Cher should have never told illegals to come to her house after Ice Raid uncovers her nasty secret. The singer's open invitation to all illegals on Wednesday to come to her so-called sanctuary house where they would be safe from the president was asinine. Chaz Bono Bono saved a few bucks or perhaps attempted to be a social justice warrior, in hiring a staff of illegal housekeepers. When the Immigration and Customs Enforcement showed up to deport the illegal help to the housekeeper, Bono pitched a royal fit in the only way celebrities and their kids know how to do, on Twitter, as BizPack Review reported. Where there is one illegal housekeeper in Hollywood employed, there are likely far more and you can pretty much guarantee that this is just the tip of the iceberg for arrests. Trump is about to hit all those liberal elites in Tinseltown where it hurts since until it came to their illegal help, they were largely unaffected by the changes and only want to appeal to their audience they trash Trump to. Perhaps, it's for this reason, that liberals are so adamant about saving DACA, in addition to seizing an opportunity to denounce Trump and make his every action look racist. Cher would love to have all these illegals in her home since like her son, she could get really affordable labor, or her help could hire cheap labor from other illegals. The only cure for Cher's liberal bleeding heart to open her doors to any illegal criminal wanting her protection is for each potential Harvard house guest to have to pass a test to prove that they're worthy of Cher's company who should be forced to hang with them. Trump just fired 800 GovT workers and put 200 more on notice after uncovering sick thing they all did. In a clean sweep that happened in the overnight hours, it's being reported that 500 VA employees have just been terminated, and an additional 200 have been suspended for their shady conduct. The Gateway Pundit reported, the Department of Veterans made public a list of employee terminations, demotions, and suspensions. Many of these employees were discovered to be felons, sex offenders, or generally incompetent. VAS Secretary David Shulkin said in a written statement that he is doing everything to hold VA employees accountable and will now make the actions of all employees transparent to taxpayers, as they have the right to know what is going on. For privacy reasons, the VA is not posting employees' names. Shell can gain more firing authority after Trump signed legislation June 23 establishing more repercussions and a faster firing process for VA employees. Trump, Shulkin, and many veterans and supporters of the legislation said the new rules would allow the VA to root out poor performing employees and a perceived culture of corruption in the department. Liberal Cher invites illegals into her mansion for protection from Trump, huge mistake. 
the iconic Cher has decided to put her money where her mouth is and invite some of those who are slated for deportation to hang out at her house. The has-been singer claims she is going to house illegal aliens in her mansion to protect them from Trump or something. Cher's hysterical tweet makes it seem like they are suddenly going to be rounded up and deported and that's simply not the case. The natural cure for that would be to only allow in those illegals who pass some sort of test so that they would be agreeable for Cher to have around. The fact of the matter is that stars like Cher have security and publicists and lots of other people to keep them safe and make them look good. In the meantime, if she does move forward with her plan to house illegals, maybe I can forge a DACA card so that I get to see Cher's house. No great tragedy without some small gain, right? Cher if you think Cher should let all the illegals stay with her. Lowe's just shocked every military family in America with new rule effective now in all stores. Now, we're seeing it again in an even bigger way that proves there is a positive way to make a statement and it's left military families in America in total shock. They have continually shown their support for our military, and now they have made an announcement that will help those in our military as well as their families. The company will be changing their military discount program in order to improve it for those defending our country. All military members and their families will be able to use it online and will receive free shipping as well. Lowe's has explained that they will not be asking for proof of ID anymore because they feel that it makes the process more complicated for the military members. This program change should help both military members and their families all over the country, Conservative Post reported. We are proud to have a company like Lowe's looking out for our military members. After all, they put their lives on the line for all of us. The least we can do is get them some good discounts and make their lives a little easier. To those who don't value the sacrifice of our service members or recognize that these heroes are the backbone of our country, they probably think this is somehow unfair. American businesses should look at how Lowe's treats our military members and follow their lead. It's beyond time for this to be the trend as opposed to who can make a bigger anti-American social justice statement. Zuckerberg threatens that if Trump stops stock it then 700,000. As promised, President Trump is taking steps to end rampant illegal immigration into the United States. His next move will most likely end Obama's policy of granting amnesty to illegals who came while very young. Liberals are fuming. They claim this will be a disaster for our country. Yet one liberal group just shot themselves in the foot when they admitted this one thing. From Priyat Bart, a study by Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg's Open Borders organization revealed that if an Obama-created amnesty program for young illegal aliens is ended, it would open nearly 700,000 American jobs. Zuckerberg's FWD.S group, a pro-immigration lobbying group, released the study with the intention to show the hardships of ending the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program, where more than 850,000 young illegal aliens have been given temporary amnesty would have on the American economy. The study unintentionally revealed how many more job opportunities American workers would have if President Trump were to repeal DACA, as he promised his supporters he would do. According to the FWD.S study, if DACA is repealed it would mean potentially 700,000 American jobs could open up for American citizens. The study claims that on average, if Trump were to repeal DACA, 30,000 American job opportunities would open up each month. FWD.S President Todd Schultz touted the results of the study as a loss for America's business community, saying it would have severe consequences on the economy. Um, what? Facebook just admitted that illegal aliens have taken over 700,000 jobs from working Americans. Hey college grads! There are all those jobs you've been asking for. Lol, did Zuckerberg really think that kind of news would make Trump look bad? That's exactly what he's been saying for years. That's the very data he used to win the election. Imagine, 700,000 jobs opening up for qualified, legal citizens. That's better than any press release the White House could issue. The reality that so many jobs are being taken by illegals is staggering. So many Americans, especially ones fresh out of school, 
struggle to find good work. Now we see just how many jobs are being taken by illegal aliens, people who should never have been here. The next time your neighbors complain about Trump, share with them this little nugget of knowledge. Source, Brubart.